Yesterday we talked about the, the beauty of us pausing at the beginning of our time of prayer and allowing the Lord to, to gaze upon us. For us to sharpen our attentiveness and our awareness of what's in God's gaze. I think for many of us that's an incredible invitation and, and perhaps as soon as you heard it, your heart was quickened with anticipation of, wow, what might be in God's eyes as He looks at me. For some of us, perhaps the invitation to, to get in touch with what God sees when He sees you is perhaps something that's challenging. Uh, maybe your own perception of yourself is such that to, to even ask God how He sees you when He gazes upon you would be something that might be filled with fear. Uh, maybe there's some intimidation about even asking God because it might even confirm in your own fears that God looks at you the same way that you look at yourself. That's why it's really important that we allow our faith, our Catholic faith, to imbue all of our spiritual experience and for us to be reminded of the truth of who God is. And as we receive the truth from the church and from the heart of God Himself, it helps us rest with this God that is pursuing us. Our Holy Father, Pope Benedict XVI, a beautiful gift to the church, especially at this season of the church where so many of us are hungry to pray. In his very first encyclical, Deus Caritas S, God is love, profoundly encourages all of us to allow God to reveal himself to us and for us to look at God in others through the proper lens. And number 18 from Deus Caritas S, we read, Love of neighbor is thus shown to be possible in the way proclaimed by the Bible, by Jesus. It consists in the very fact that in God and with God, I love even the person whom I do not like or even know. This can only take place on the basis of an intimate encounter with God, an encounter which has become a communion of will, even affecting my feelings. Then I learn to look on this other person not simply with my eyes and my feelings, but from the perspective of Jesus Christ. Seeing with the eyes of Christ, I can give to others much more than their outward necessities. I can give them the look of love which they crave. The Holy Father invites us to know that love of neighbor is only possible if we look at them through the lens of Christ, through the eyes of Christ. He says, if I'm looking at the other through the lens of Christ, then I see them as Christ sees them, and then, and only then, is it possible for me to love them. And imagine, if that's true with my ability to love other people, then it's certainly true about my ability to love myself. What the Holy Father is inviting us all into is the reminder that uh, He doesn't look at us the way that we look at ourselves. He doesn't look at us through our eyes. He looks at us through His eyes. Here's an easy way to look at it. I have contacts in right now. I've worn glasses since I was a kid. Uh, without my contacts, without my glasses, without those lenses, uh, my perception of the world is dramatically different. Without those lenses, I actually don't see the world as it is. I just see my perception of it. But even my perception of the world, even the way that I look at the world, is significantly influenced by the lenses that I have. Our, our view of people and our view of God and our view of ourselves, you might say, is influenced by our spiritual lenses, by our spiritual eyes. In other words, the way that I look at myself, that usually is the lens through which I see the whole world. And if there are places in my heart that are wounded or hurting, places in my heart that are still full of pain, then I often look at the world and other people through that lens. And so I don't really perceive them as they are. I see them through a distorted lens. God doesn't wear our glasses. God doesn't have pain. God doesn't have distortion. God doesn't have woundedness. God is perfect love. The point of Deus Caritas S, that God is love, perfect love. And if God is perfect love, then God sees us through the lens of perfect love. So the good news for all of us is regardless of how you see yourself and regardless of what you thought of God because of the way that you see yourself, God doesn't wear your glasses. 
God views you, looks at you, beholds you through the lens of perfect love. My encouragement to you today is to pray with Isaiah chapter 62, verses 1 to 5. And as you pray with that prophet Isaiah, let the Lord look at you and know that as he looks at you, he doesn't wear your glasses. God bless you.